Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are outside of St. Joseph's Church in Clayton, Missouri, and it is day number 48. Happy Easter Monday, everybody. And I wanna show you, St. Joe's is a church that I've gone to many, many, many times. I've come very often to this noon mass with my mom and dad since moving back to St. Louis. And there's a beautiful statue of St. Joseph and the baby Jesus. But this is the first mass that I have gone to and that you will see the church on this pilgrimage uh, because I haven't been here throughout all of Lent. So today it's it's day 48, number 48 church on, on the list. I'm going to the new mass, so come on inside. And the puppy is not going to go to mass with us. because I love this statue of St. Anthony. I love a good baby Jesus. <laughs> simple country church but they actually just recently restored and did some restoration and painting they added the blue but I've always loved this crucifix the Calvary scene I just think it's so beautiful it's just gorgeous and the windows are beautiful in here too I'm going to show you guys those First, let me show you um, Joseph and Mary. So we've got, these statues are actually new. They came from another church that was getting rid of them and so they took them. Uh, but you can see Joseph. And then the Blessed Mother over here. And she's got little shoes on, <laughs> which you don't see too often. And I'll show you, this is the back of the church. Love the beautiful dark wood ceiling. I'm gonna show you the windows. I think they're quite special. So we've got, uh, the stations are beautiful too. So obviously the resurrection and stations. these windows God Jesus Mary and Joseph Jesus is working just like his father and then I love this window of the betrothal Blessed Mother and St. Joseph it's so beautiful the colors Got the visitation here. And then the nativity back here. Beautiful, they just redid this baptistry and I love these gates. Here. Love 
blessed mother holding the baby Jesus. Protection. This is the flight to Egypt. So beautiful. You don't always see those windows are depicted. And Mary finding Jesus in the temple. And then here we've got St. Joseph's death. Jesus was St. Joseph. Just beautiful. <laughs> and there are my mom and dad, who you might recognize from one of our other episodes. But my mom and dad come to church here every single day and they lead the rosary and then they stay for mass. So, That's right. aren't they cute? <laughs> <laughs> well, she is. How many years have you guys been coming to St. Joe's? Oh, I started five. when I was 18. Wow. Coming with your parents or just by, by yourself? Myself. Just by himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you guys together? Well, mostly all our lives. I mean, wow. you know, we've been married almost 55 years. And dated, we dated, dated for five years before, before that. that. Wow, how so, old are you guys? Older than the church. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. 76. I know. 77. I know. Well, it's beautiful. I know as a deacon, you have to go wherever they sign you. So in some ways, this is your own little parish Second, so, second, yeah, second, second parish. Because obviously you're at Saint Augustine's on the weekend, yeah. but every day you come here. So and whenever I can, whenever I'm allowed to function on the altar, when they need someone, I do. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys. Love you. We love you. Love happy you Easter. And happy Easter <laughs> to you, here. Maria. I like infant Jesus of Prague in this little alcove here. And we've got another statue, or three more statues. Well, let me start back here. We've got our Mother of Perpetual Health. And then we've got Sacred Heart of Jesus, St. Joseph, and the Blessed Mother. She's, uh, she's my favorite. She actually used to be in the church, and I just love her. I love this statue. And uh, when they acquired those new statues, they moved her out here. But... She still has her uh, candles, and um, she's just beautiful to me. I love her. So I wanted to do the reflection in front of my favorite statue here. She is, uh, well, as I mentioned, she's just so beautiful to me, and, and she's, she's my girl, and, and she used to be in the church, but I'm just so grateful that they didn't get rid of her and uh, they gave her this lovely spot here with the candles. And because I was going to say if they were getting rid of her, I was going to take her home <laughs> because I just, I love her so much. And she's got her foot on the serpent and, and I love the baby Jesus too. He's, he's giving us a blessing. <laughs> so, blessed mother, queen of heaven and earth, pray for us. So let's pray together on this Easter Monday in the words of St. Faustina. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I saw the Lord Jesus in the midst of a great light. He approached me and said, peace to you, my children. And he lifted up his hand and gave his blessing. The wounds in his hands Feet and side were indelible and shining. When he looked at me with such kindness and love, my whole soul drowned itself in him. And Jesus said to me, You have taken a great part in my passion. Therefore, I now give you a great share in my joy and glory. whole time of the resurrection mass seemed like only a minute to me. A wondrous recollection filled my soul and lasted throughout the whole festal season. 
and the kindness of Jesus is so great that I cannot express it. Oh, my Jesus, my only hope, thank you for the book which you have opened before my soul's eyes. That book is your passion, which you underwent for love of me. It is from this book that I have learned how to love God and souls. Dear God, give me the strength to bear my crosses patiently and to offer up my sufferings in union with my crucified Savior and his mother, Our Lady of Sorrows. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy Easter again. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you guys as we continue. Uh, on making our way towards Divine Mercy Sunday. So I'll see you tomorrow for Easter Tuesday. Have a blessed, glorious day. Bye-bye.